The question of this morning, this beautiful, beautiful, almost Christmas morning, is what is your gift? What is your gift? How are you called to shine the light of God, the light of goodness in your life in a way that's brighter and better and more authentic than ever before? When are you done sweeping under a rug or hiding under a bushel because of comparisons? Comparisons or feeling not good enough or the big one, not ready. Not ready at this time. <laughs> the most important thing you can do right now for yourself and for your world is to share the gift of you. Yes. Whatever it looks like, good, bad, or indifferent, whatever it looks like, it's you. Realizing that you are a gift of the divine, all wrapped up in this human package. Each of us is a unique and important part of the universal <laughs> tapestry of life. Each one a, a, an individualized thread, a beautiful thread that makes up all of life. Because life wouldn't be the same, it wouldn't be as beautiful if your thread was not woven into it. So I want to take some time this morning to do a, another little exercise whereby each of you has the opportunity to possibly identify a spiritual gift that you have and would like to share in a bigger, more meaningful way. To discover, rediscover, or maybe even to commit to bringing forth your light wrapped up in the package of your gift to the world. So let's just take a moment and we're going to just do a brief medicate meditation. We're going to do a medi <laughs> medication too, but that's for later on. <laughs> so let's just, let's just settle into that and just take that breath of life, let it breathe you. And visualize a beautifully wrapped gift with a large golden bow on it. Say that inside the box is the light of God. Inside the box is the energy of God. Inside the box is the power of God. And inside of that box is the love of God. Inside the box is the gift of God. And that gift is you. And so slowly and deliberately begin to unwrap the gift. And see inside the box the gift that you are to the world. Get very clear and specific about it. And in other words, saying, I am the gift of love is great and wonderful. But let's put some teeth into it by identifying one way you are going to share that gift. Use that gift, put that gift into action. Whatever that gift is of you. If it's a beneficial presence, how are you gonna show up in the world as that beneficial presence? Is there a phone call you can make, a volunteer position you can take? Say you're gonna be a life coach. What's the step you can take in that direction? to fulfill that, to bring into the world greater ways. And if you like, you can put a date on it by such and such a date. I will have developed or finalized some kind of step, protocol, And 
so know or get in touch with. Maybe it's kindness. Maybe it's something grand. But there is nothing grander I'm here to tell you than kindness. So maybe that kindness is a smile. Are we sharing it with the world? So take another deep breath. Bring it back into this room along with some kind of sense or a complete revelation of what your gift may be. Now, like any gift, you're not to just put it away on the top shelf. It will do no good, right? That is the gift that you identified this morning is like if you don't use it. It's like putting it away for another time on the top shelf of some closet. If you leave here this morning and say, that was an interesting experience, and leave it at that, you might as well have just stayed home and slept in or <coughs> baked some cookies or something. Because <laughs> this is about, <clears throat> it's about deepening into our spirituality and more than that, that spirituality is why we are here. We're here to express the light of our own being. And so when we can get a sense of what that is, if we don't have a full concept of it, until we can get a sense of it, we cannot take any action. And that action is necessary to fulfill why we are here. Why we are here. So I urge you, I beseech you to bring the gift that you identified here this morning out into the world. Because this world needs all the light that it can get. I'm sure most of you know that. It needs all the love, all the kindness, all the light. People need it. So when you smile, when you say a kind word to a stranger, I was just in New York last week. Do you know how many people came up and said Merry Christmas? Complete strangers. Oh, New York is such a terrible place. Kindness, kindness, that love that warmed my heart. So I want to conclude the talk this morning with, you know, I like the notes from the universe, Mike Dooley. Mm -hmm. He wrote this. He said this. It comes in emails. If it is not yet obvious to you, the real reason for this, and all seasons, is you. A more perfect child of the universe has never lived. Until now, only celebrations clothed in mirth and mystery could hint at your divine heritage and sacred destiny. You are life's prayer of becoming and its answer. The first light at the dawn of eternity, drawn from the ether, so that I might know my own depth, discover new heights, and revel in the seeds of blessed emotions, a pioneer into illusion, an adventurer into the unknown, a lifter of veils, courageous, heroic, and exalted by legions of the unseen. This is who you are, he writes. To give beyond reason, to care beyond hope, to love without limit, to reach, stretch, and dream in spite of your fears. These are the hallmarks of divinity, traits of the immortal, your badges of honor. May you wear them with a pride as great as what we feel for you. Your light has illumined darkened paths. Your gaze has lifted broken spirits. And already your life has changed the course of history. This is the time of year we celebrate you, bowing before greatness, the universe. They're always signed, the universe, as it's writing to you. 
So whether you received, received the seed of a gift this morning or the whole plant was revealed to you, the gift is, no matter what you might think, is that you are a divine being of light itself. You have been created out of magnificence. How then, therefore, can you not be a magnificent creature? How in, in, in essence, to the core of our being, I'm not talking about all the human little dramas that we have going on and that we make up in our heads. I'm talking about the essence of who we are. Each and every one of us has a light to share. It's pure and it's within us and it needs to be revealed to first ourselves and that's awareness and then it can be shared with everyone we come in contact with. It is our gift, it is our magnificence. It is, it is selfish not to share it. So I am, I am so filled with gratitude for this community and for every aspect of it in all of its beauty and glory and love that I feel every Sunday. And I want us to remember, all of us, that God gave us a magnificent presence. Who are we not to share it with the world? The greatest present you will ever receive is yourself, the gift of you. And so that's the greatest gift for Christmas.